What do you want? Are the UPS man? Do you have a package for me? Okay, come on in. Welcome to my house. Finally, after months and months and months of you guys asking, we are doing a house tour. Do you even know what a house tour is? Obviously, she doesn't, you uncultured swine. So today, I woke up, I went to Costco, and then I got a ton of drinks, I stocked the fridge, and I'm like, damn, that looks good. So we're gonna do a house tour today, just because my fridge looks good. If you can hear, there is an echo, very loud. Go. Because we don't have furniture. Start off over here with the corner and the door. Oh, the door is so cool. Did you guys check this out? So my friend came over and she told me that Chris Jenner has this same door. <laughs> don't you guys dare go outside. Let me show them how the door works without you going outside. Okay, so look how the door opens up. It is huge, ginormous. I've always wanted like a huge grand door. Like my old door was literally half of this. It's a pivot door. And it's got a really, really huge handle. You know, like a refrigerator, but on a door. Okay, so these right here, I just bought these and I want to show it to you. Doesn't it look like a luscious, well taken care of plant? Well, it's not. It's an artificial sphere. So I had real plants over here and Ash was always just like jumping on them and biting them and eating them. Like I'll show you what she did to my other plants. So this plant over here, this bottom piece used to look like this piece, you know, green and luscious, but just a mini version. And look what Ash did. She ate every single leaf on this hecking plant. And occasionally she'll go and play with the mud or dirt. From this to this, literally a nub. Should we go down the hallway or should we do my game room first? We're just gonna go to my room because it's right here. Come on in. So I got to- No, you open that door for me. No, okay. I want both open. No. Yes. See guys, the doors open both ways. Yes, and there are glass doors, which is absolutely horrible for audio quality. So, I had to put up a wall of audio foam. And oh, by the way, this is my setup where I record, <laughs> where all the magic happens. I finally got my llama son back after Digital stole it from me for a few months. And I got my oblivion here, I got my little shell. Like before it was just this, and I was like, okay, you know what, I wanna make it more like my old setup because a lot of you guys like my old setup better. This is like boring, it's just yellow audio foam that used to be white. You know. I bought white audio foam and look at this color now. Look at it, it is piss yellow. I haven't had time to like look for furniture and stuff. That's where you're gonna see like most of the houses. Pretty empty and my setup is basically the same except I have a white desk. I got my pretty razor mouse and my iMac gaming setup. Don't worry guys, there's a PlayStation under here. I have posters that I have to hang up. I got these from Anime Expo and I'm super hyped about them. They're Attack on Titan posters. So I just gotta find a place to like hang these up because they're super dope. So I got my controller, I had to get a new one because this one. I bought two of these because I really like the clear ones and both of them were defective So like the joystick just like moves on its own So I had to get another one and by the way when I record glass is very bad for echo So whenever I'm about to record or I want some privacy in my room I close the blinds. So all of the windows in this house have blinds where they are remote controlled And you can just shut them like this or when I don't want to talk to my dogs I do this and it just goes back up. I just recently got this big fluffy chair, which is not as comfortable comfortable as it looks. It's actually horrible for your back. And this is kind of like my setup for my second channel. I'm trying to like put stuff behind me and make it cuter. And I have a ton of storage to hide all of my secrets in. Secrets. There's TV. There's a bunch of behind the scenes junk. But I love this room. I love the glass doors. This is supposed to be like the office and there's a ton of storage which I need to throw all my junk in. Which I don't know why this junk literally isn't in the cabinet. Yeah. Don't look at it. No. Enough about my setup. Oh, another thing that's really cool about this house. Every room has its own thermostat. Like in my old house, we had two of them. Like one upstairs, one downstairs, but this you can control the temperature in every room. So I can keep my room 80 degrees. You yeah, because it. anything below 80 is for reason cold it for is. girls apparently. It is. It's really cold. So this little room over here is my bathroom. Oh my God, I matched the roses. Ooh, I just bought these today. So the countertop lights up. I don't remember what material this is. Okay, so this is a design fail in this house. So the toilet paper holder is down here. So whenever Whenever you go to the bathroom, it's like, I guess it's not that bad right now because the toilet seat is raised, but it's really awkward to like get toilet paper while you're sitting here, so. There's a couple things in this house that they did wrong and then they realized, oh, wait, we shouldn't have done that. That's one of them. All right, so this is a double door bathroom, so it leads to my office, but also leads to the hallway. They call these a powder room. It's not a bathroom, it's a powder room. This over 
here is another hallway. Look at all the doors. Beyond these doors lie hidden secrets. That's the secret for you guys. Smash like if you want to know what's in here. One of them might be a closet, but there are secrets beyond these doors. Over here we have, a, what are these called? A gallery. You're supposed to put your art or like a mirror or something. The walls are carved out, but we don't have anything. And over here is the garage. I don't want to show it like that because it's all the boxes behind you. No, we're going to show it. <laughs> to show your shame. Yep. This is like our other house where it's just a lot of boxes, moving boxes and stuff delivered. Man, Amazon, why you got to have all this unnecessary packaging garage basic AF white house white cars <laughs> white everything because my soul is so black we love contrast I really love Mercedes I love white cars I, I do like black cars too but they get like really messed up in the Sun here it's really hot and I am sweating in this damn garage but yeah this is the new baby that I waited almost a year for and this is my old baby this is the best car in the world I don't care what none of y'all Tesla owners say back into the hallway and here is the great room slash rest of the house. I mean, we could just show you Mr. Sausage's room real quick. My awesome setup. So this is Evan's room. I'm just gonna show you this real quick. There you go. All he does is play Destiny. His bathroom is really cool. He has his own bathroom, so he doesn't have to leave his room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does there to yeah. show here? It's just a bathroom. My bathroom. It's wow. the sausage's bathroom. Do you have bathroom. any idea how bad this smells? Like the seat goes down. A few minutes down. ago. Yeah, she came in when I was pooping. Back over here, which most of you guys have seen, I guess, the rest of the house. I'm gonna show it to you again in case you have it. So over here, come on down. This is the TV room. And this is my favorite mirror. So I wanted this mirror for the longest time. I love this mirror. And then we finally got it and it doesn't really go with the house. We also wanted a nice couch, but Z Gallery oh didn't let that happen God. either. Z Gallery did me so dirty. I waited six months for this couch. And look at it. This piece does not match these two pieces. And they still haven't resolved my damn issue. So please, if you are watching this, I want a new couch and I want it now because this is like unusable. Like you can barely even sit on this. Like this is horrible. But. So what happened is all three of these pieces are supposed to be the same size, the, the big metal one. one, but they sent these two the wrong size. All right, so this is house the great room this is the comfy couch the couch that's not messed up this is one of the comfiest couches in the world it's basically made of what your bed is made of so it's like a giant bed i need a hand oof so when the sun's setting it's kind of in our face so we like close the blinds but now we can open them and it's really cool just watching it go up so this is my little corner where I keep everything that doesn't have a permanent home. And it's just basically like things I get in the mail, bills, more bills, and a lot of cleaners because I like to keep this house like as clean as I possibly can. So I'm like always cleaning. But yeah, this is the kitchen, my favorite part of the house. And we have a super stupid long island. This island is ginormous and it's great because I can like, I cook on it. You guys have seen my like cooking videos here. On my second channel, I've been doing a lot of cooking videos here. You can check out those videos. But yeah, it's got a sink. I know, crazy, right? I've never had an island with a sink. Blows my mind. Over here, we have, oh, this is the best part, the fridge. I didn't organize the fridge, so it's kind of messy. But I've been cooking almost every meal, so the fridge is kind of crazy. And here is our drink fridge. Now, as a YouTuber, this is mandatory in a house tour. And I bought a lot today, and then I was like, okay, you know what? The fridge looks pretty dope. Who had a LaCroix? Why did you mess this up? I'm a boy who likes LaCroix. Leave me alone. No, I'm a Croy boy. No, I'm a Croy boy. You have to fix it. That's too bad. I'm a Croy boy. We do love our sparkling water here, so. Oh, look, a coconut. Oh, and I have a coconut because I drink the nuts straight from the coconut. <laughs> I bought enough drinks today to fill this fridge and I was just like, okay, you know what? While the fridge is like this, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this house tour. Oh wait, we're not done yet. I have to keep holding Ash because she keeps barking at her reflection. So over here is the freezer. We have mostly dessert in here. We do love our ice cream. Almost all the ice cream in here besides the mochi is vegan because they do like gluten-free cookie flavors. So it's like, I do really love vegan ice cream. We also love shrimp though. We love shrimp. Can't wait to have my mini pies later. I have corn dogs. Everything in this house is Gluten free. And then over here we have, I just went to Costco, got some burgers. Shout out to Costco Burgers, the best burgers out there. All four of these are freezers, varying in temperatures. It's a little extra. This is our bread. And then this one, I don't think there's anything in this one. Nope. nope. And over here we have my cooktop. This is my first time with a gas grill and I am obsessed with it. I love, 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 love it. It cooks food so much better. I've always had an electric grill. I feel like this is so not important, but this is so important to me. And how do you think this opens? So you just... You press it and then it opens up like that. And then to close it, you just like put it back. Wow. There are no handles in this house on any of the cabinets. You just like. 
magic. So over here is the secret door. This is my pantry. So you just like touch it and then come on in. This is where I keep the doggy food and my rice. And this is really messy right now, so I'll like ignore it kind of. Here's the dining table. I peeked inside the little crack of the fence to our neighbor's house and they had this dining table and chairs. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get this dining table and chairs. Love it. It's like a gray wood. And these are linen, which actually get very dirty very fast, which is not good for me because we are very messy people. So this is my favorite part of the house. Come on in. Welcome to Leah's Tea Bar. So this is my little space where all the tea making happens. I have a bunch of plants here. I planted everything. So I have like all these little cactuses to remind me of Arizona. And look at this one. This one's my favorite. So this is a very gentle cactus. It's actually like very like rubbery. I don't know exactly what it's called. This one is very deadly. You absolutely cannot touch him. He will bite hard. And over here we have mostly fake plants from Ikea, but I can't really water these, so I just like put fake plants up here. Over here, everybody that comes over loves this. This is an ice maker. So it just keeps constantly making ice. It's got like 20 pounds of ice in it. You trying to have a drink, you always have ice. So over here, I have my juicer. I have my snow cone maker, which is my favorite thing ever, and it's so easy to use. And I have a coffee maker. Well, it's actually in a espresso maker. And over here, I have like all my tea and coffee and everything I need to make everything. Let me make a snow cone real quick. I love snow cones. Look how easy it is to like make a snow cone. Wham, bam, yes, ma'am. We got a snow cone in three, two, one. Over here, it's supposed to be like a wine cooler, but like I use it to cool my syrups for my snow cones. Oh, so for the outlets, you don't have like regular switches. So it says what you want to light up and everything you can control it from your phone. But like if you want to light up the bar, you want to light up the great room, you light up the kitchen. And it's lit. Over here is the doggy play place. This is the little home room. This is where they do the doggy things. So we had this cutout where you're supposed to put a statue, vase. I don't know what we decided to put Thanos' gauntlet because it fits perfectly. Look at this. This is the base. It was meant to be here. It's inevitable. This is the room my friends like to go in when they think my house is too hot because I leave it at 80 degrees. It's cold. It's like a human fridge. Over here is the bedroom. This is the bed. We finally got nightstands. Haven't had a nightstand in years. That actually has drawers. I really love this wall. This is like right in front of the bed. Can't find the controller for the fireplace right now, but this is like a real fireplace. No. It's actually electric, but it makes heat. It has like fake fire and you can make the fire change color. And there's a TV right above here. And I love, I love this wall so much. It's so pretty. Here is the bathroom. I love this bathroom. It's so large. This bathroom is literally like the size of our bedroom in our old house, but we have his and her toilets. So a toilet over here and a toilet over here. But we just ended up fighting over toilets, so we just share one toilet now. See? And nobody uses this one. Why do we use the same toilet? Why don't I use this one? But what's also nice is that we have his and hers towel rack. So I am not drying my face with the same towel that he uses to dry his butt cheeks. This is like where I get ready, my makeup set up and everything. I have all my makeup here and here's the mirror, which is very large, but there's no like full length mirror here. Oh, the shower. This is exciting because this isn't just a regular shower. This is a steam shower. So if you don't know what a steam shower is, there's a button on the wall over here. I'm gonna turn it on. We're gonna wait a hot sec and this whole entire room is gonna fill up with hot steam. So it's like this whole room turns into a sauna and you have like a spot where you can like sit and relax while you sweat. In a minute or two, the whole room is gonna be filled with steam. And really fast, I'm gonna show you the closet because I'm actually gonna do this on my second channel where I do a closet tour. So if you guys wanna see the closet, make sure you check out my second channel. Over here is the bathtub. I haven't taken a bath in this bathtub, but I brush my hair over it so all my hair like goes in the drain. If a strand of hair gets on this bathroom, like on the floor or anything, look, you can see it. You can literally see it right there. Look, there's one right there. Yeah. It's annoying. What is this? So as you can see, it's starting to steam up right now, but it gets like, when it steams up, you won't be able to see in it at all. And when you're inside it, it'll just look like you're in the clouds. This is too humid for me. Sorry, but no bath water will be sold here. Whoa, this is what it looks like from the bedroom. And the sky is just insanely beautiful during sunset. Like, I don't think you guys realize, like it's not capturing it, but it looks so so cool. So one of the buttons in the house is a welcome button and it turns on all the lights at night. Wow, it is lit. So these are all sliding doors. They're not just windows and they all just open out. 
and you can just like slide them. Oh my god, the sky looks so cool. So here is the spa, and it's an infinity pool. It looks cooler from here because you can't see the edge. My foot itches. So the pool is nice. It's heated which you actually have to heat it even though it's like over 100 degrees during the day. And Ash likes to drink out of the hot tub. Hey! So it gets really cold at night. Even though it's like over 100 degrees every day, the pool doesn't actually heat up, so I have to like heat it. In my other house, the water was so nice around this time of year because it was so hot and like the pool was smaller so it would heat up faster. My brother's super lucky because he's renting it out right now and he gets to like have the perfect water. I honestly like that pool better. But I can actually swim laps in this one. Outside the bar opens up so you can put seats right here and then like make drinks or whatever and your guests can enjoy them outside. See, it's open now and it like connects like inside to outside. Here is the BBQ which I've been cooking a lot on lately. I found the cockroach in there yesterday and the last time I tried to cook in there. I set that mother on fire. So over here is my couch, the infamous Instagram couch where they messed up my cushions but they replaced the whole thing really fast, literally in like two days. Thank you, Living Spaces, for being cool. And over here is my favorite place to lounge in the house. This is my nest. I live here. After I get out of the pool, it's just really nice to nap here. So I really love this house. Like, I just love seeing the clouds and the sky. I always want a house on a mountain, and now I have one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which was your favorite part of the tour. And I will be uploading a closet tour tomorrow on my second channel. So this channel is called Little Leah, so make sure you guys check that out. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button in the face. And subscribe, join the wolf pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, bye guys.